What's up, everybody? Uh, Louis Santana right here on the Unscripted channel. And just as promised, we are beginning to review that amazing uh, budget value items when I picked up three bottles of liquor for under 100 bucks. If you have not seen that video, go and check it out right here on the Unscripted channel. And what I would say is go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, because we're going to continue reviewing some amazing spirits because at the end of the day, you don't want to drink terrible whiskey. So here we go. Let's get right into it. The brand that we're doing today is called Tex, TX. Uh, this is a brand started by a couple of guys back in 2010. It is strictly a Texas whiskey. 100% comes out right out of Texas. Um, this one is their blended whiskey. And what's really neat is when they first came out, I drank this a couple years ago. I thought it was pretty good and then kind of walked away from it, came back to it. And now they've kind of fancied up the bottle. So this particular bottle is going to have a little bit of the burlap. Uh, that's kind of their idea of, you know, the old school uh, Texas traditions, silver on the bottom. Uh, they say it stands for the spurs. And of course they have a boot stitch. So I'm going to show you that right. Let's see if we can do this. Come on now. There you go. Let's get, let's get uh, cracking. Let's get some. There we go. Look at that. That's the boot stitch. So that's just kind of a little bit of hint. But again, it's strictly Texas. Very, very, very proud of their brand. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just move this a little bit. So bear with me. But I wanted to share that with you today because today this bottle is only 35 bucks. It's a 750. It actually is really, really fantastic whiskey for the purchase. Now think about what is along those price lines, right? You're going to get a Gentleman Jack for that price. You're probably going to get a Crown Royal for that price. You might be able to get a special on Crown Black. Um, but really beyond that, you're not going to be able to get into the higher end whiskeys. But TX is one of those higher end whiskeys that really, for the price, you cannot beat it. It's got a great flavor. Let's go ahead and check it out. So right away, you're going to see it's got a, a cork. And I like to make sure that I keep it nice and capped. One of the things that kills your whiskey, and here's a great hint for all of you guys getting into the whole whiskey, um, you know, tasting experience, is that the longer you leave the bottle open, the more oxygen goes and begins to degrade that whiskey. So one thing I like about Texan, really, I don't remember if they always had the cork, they probably did, but it's really nice and tight. Uh, again, back in my old days when I first started drinking whiskey, I would keep all my whiskey bottles in the uh, freezer. And one thing I noticed is that some of these bottles would inadvertently start leaking because they were corked and not a screw cap. So I wasn't a really big fan of that. But I do like the tradition that it's an old school kind of idea. The cork, again, is very tight. I don't know if you guys are going to keep it in the freezer. I would always, going forward now that I know what I know, I would never keep whiskey in the freezer if it's a good whiskey. Your, and, and again, not implying that bad whiskeys can be kept in the freezer, but here's the deal. If you have a whiskey that's a little rough on your palate, absolutely go ahead and throw that in the freezer. It's going to knock down some of those higher end things that are making you feel like it's a little bit more rough. It's going to smooth out the edges, so to speak. But good whiskeys like this, like Tex and the other ones that we're going to be reviewing, just keep them at room temperature. You don't want them to get hot, but make sure you keep them in a nice little you know, like I keep them in a drawer, um, which is really nice, a nice whiskey drawer. And therefore, it's out of the light. It's not being hit by the bright light. And at the same time, it's always staying, you know, the same temperature. So, again, this is the Tex Blended Whiskey. It's $34. Bucks. Um, I always like to pour myself when I'm drinking it neat. I'm going to pour a couple of fingers, right? Nothing really too heavy. Um, at this point, like I said, it's just really to enjoy it. And I want to share with you guys what I'm tasting. Now, I've already tasted this before. I'm going to refresh myself because this is the first time I've had it in a couple years. So to all of you guys that are uh, whiskey fans, cheers. Now, I got to tell you, I normally don't drink this neat. I like to have it on a rock. But I got to be honest with you, this is absolutely incredible tasting. Cheers to the guys at the brewer at the distilling, uh, Firehouse and Robertson, I believe it is. They started in 2010. Uh, they came out with their blended two years later, 2012. Won two double gold medals in 2013 at the San Francisco Spirit Awards. And then in 2016, came out with their straight bourbon. And what that basically means is all of the mash is coming directly from Texas. Nothing else is being outsourced. That's their bourbon, right? 
So the blended whiskey, you are going to have, uh, you know, ingredients that are coming outside of the state of Texas, but they really are blending it well. And this is a big deal for these guys. It's a source of pride. And I got to tell you, they did an amazing job. Let me grab one more drink so I can share with you a little bit of what I'm tasting. Now on their website themselves, they're going to say that there's less, absolutely no burn going down. I would tell you that's true. I absolutely agree. So um, I do have a I have a review for Old Overholt coming in uh, right after this, so stay tuned for that. It's probably not going to be today because I'm not going to be mixing all of my liquors. Again, the idea is you want to drink responsibly. You want to enjoy this just like anything else, and so you don't want to overindulge. But at the end of the day, like I said, um, check that out because the difference is, I'm very familiar with Old Overholt, is that it's got a higher alcohol content, so therefore it's just going to come off a little bit sharper. So, but this right here has got a beautiful clean finish. Um, you could definitely drink it neat. Uh, in fact, I'm probably gonna start drinking it neat. That's how uh, impressed I am by the flavor. So in the very beginning, you can definitely taste vanilla bean, right? Not like the vanilla flavored whiskeys, but just an essence of vanilla. What I noticed that when I would drink it with a rock, that vanilla would come out a little stronger. Now, it's not to say that it's sweet because by no means is the TX whiskey blended, is it's not sweet. But it's got a beautiful flavor. So you're gonna hit hit with that vanilla right away. Um, they say that there's some pear notes. I mean, maybe, um, but what I like uh, with whiskey, it's got a very nice flavor palette, meaning that it's not going to be super sharp, then it goes down, then it's super burning, right? That's not how whiskey's supposed to be done. They did a great job because when it gets hit, you get a full flavor palette of different things. But the most notable for me is definitely vanilla. On the finish, like when you're bringing it down, uh, just goes down nice and smooth. There is going to be the typical caramel stuff that you guys are tasting on that. Again, nothing really meant to be smooth or I'm sorry, sweet. There's nothing meant to be sweet, but what I like is there's really great balance. To me, that is absolutely the hallmark of a very good whiskey, a very good scotch, even a great beer. And uh, for you guys, I'm kind of planning a really neat 4th of July gig. I'm gonna be doing um, all of these beautiful Mexican lagers that are becoming really popular. A lot of people were used to always these old Mexican drinks, so basically it was the Corona, and I think there was Tecate. And now you got Dos Equis, you got like uh, Modelo, you got all of these, you got Sol, really, you know, all of these Mexican beers starting to really be popular. I'm gonna help you understand how to delineate that because if you're like me, who it's super hot outside, I live in the middle of the sun, it seems like, I'm gonna have a couple of beers before I get into my whiskeys. My whiskeys are usually evening, taking it easy, relaxing, you know, doing that kind of stuff. But if I'm out and about and I'm kind of just want a beer, I want something to refresh me, I do drink water, but of course I'm gonna have me a couple beers. I love Mexican lagers. They've become really my favorite. Great flavor. Stay tuned for that video coming up. So again, you wanna like and subscribe if you wanna see that because I really get to the nitty gritty. Getting back to text. One thing I love about this is it's smooth. You gotta have a smooth whiskey. I'm drinking it neat. This thing has not been in any type of refrigerator. It is absolutely incredible. Um, again, it's a great finish from start to end and no big burning sensation, no high alcohol content. Again, look at the old Overheart um, video when we get ready to do it. Be looking for that because that is gonna be a lot different than this. Now this right here states that it is, I believe it's 80 proof. Um, actually, yeah, 82 proof. So see a little bit over the 80 mark. Usually that's kind of where it's at. You got your Jackson Crowns are all 80% flavored um, whiskey. Sometimes go to 70% or I'm sorry, 70 proof. But this is going to be 82 proof. So just barely over. Really fantastic finish. I love it neat. I'm actually quite surprised by it. This is $34.99 on the shelves, guys. It's worth probably double or triple that. Now, <laughs> that being said, full disclosure, let me just be telling you, Tex did not pay me for this. I'm not being sponsored by Tex, but those guys better not rake the prices on us now that we said that it's a great, great whiskey. So, but yeah, great finish, beautiful vanilla flavor without being sweet. And that's a thing for us that want a little bit of a nice flavor palette. We don't just want that straight away whiskey. 
uh, man, this is a beautiful, perfectly blended whiskey. So there you go, guys. We're going to cap it off at the 10-minute mark. I'm going to take one more drink of this. Mm. One of the things that I'll leave you with is the fact that at the end of the day, how do you drink whiskey? Well, you don't sip it. And what that means is you don't take these small little drinks so the front of your tongue gets all the flavor. The idea behind sipping whiskey is that you're going to take a big enough flavor or a big enough drink that it's going to kind of hit at the back of your tongue. You kind of want that. You don't want to gulp it, but you do want to just let it roll back into the back of your uh, mouth so that way you get the full flavor palette. If you continue to do that, take your time drinking it. This is not meant to chase down. If you want something like that, get something cheaper. But look, this is a beautiful bottle of whiskey that you can definitely enjoy with your friends. Uh, it's going to command a lot of respect at parties because this is not your typical Jack Crown or anything like that. Um, and again, hats off to those guys. They've done a great job. They're super popular. But look, if you're wanting to really create a custom uh, idea that you have these specialty whiskeys on your shelf, then tax is going to be for you. Guys, stay tuned for our next video. Uh, more than likely, it's going to be the old overhaul, but you never know. Um, I might just get those uh, that Mexican lager thing going on. In either case, I'm so appreciative of you guys. Again, like and subscribe. If you've got any questions, feel free to send me those messages. I would love to answer anything you've got. Again, enjoy these beautiful spirits, but enjoy them responsibly. See you guys on the other side.